Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today, without further ado or much ado, I want us to jump into the book of Isaiah chapter 55, reading from verses 8 to 11. Join me, please. I apologize, this is coming a bit late. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. What does he mean by that? He's saying that there's, that his thoughts or his thought processes are far excellent as compared to us. That we cannot at any point in time have any comparison with his mind. What, you, you, you cannot reason it out. You can't reason what Jehovah wants to do or has in mind to do. Our minds are puny. But anyway, let's continue. It says, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. In essence, he's saying that your thoughts, your thought processes are so infinitesimally small compared to him. So why would you even try to second guess God? Then he goes ahead. He says, for as the rain and snow come down from the heavens and return not there again, but water the earth and make it bring forth and sprout, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to, uh, bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void without producing any effect useless. His word always produces result. His word is the creator. His word created. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word. Sorry for that interlude. I had to relocate because there was some noise coming from that background there now. He says he sent forth his word and healed them. That word is the creator. He spoke and creation left him to be. Now it says, So shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void without producing any effect, useless. For it shall accomplish that which I please and purpose, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. That is the creator speaking. When he speaks, nothing can argue with it. His word cannot come back and say, I couldn't accomplish it. Mission impossible. Impossible for that to happen. His word is him. So when he has spoken it, count it as done. It is done. Don't even bother reasoning it out. He's saying that you cannot fathom it. His ways are higher than your ways. His thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Just take him at his word. God bless you. Hallelujah.